Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a surface area and volume of spheres. Okay, we've done surface area and volume of pyramids, cones, cylinders, prisms, all that stuff. So here's spheres. Um, I like to do board problems in my class. So uh, just a quick reminder, find the surface area of a regular pentagonal uh, pyramid right here. Okay, and so what we got to do is find the area of the base Whoops, what did I do? Uh, oh boy, it got away from me. I went backwards, sorry. All right, so here it is right there. So we get the, the area of this base right here, and the area of a regular polygon is one half the perimeter times the apothem right there. So we need to get this length right here, the apothem, the length from the center to the edge right there. Okay, so how we find this central angle is we do there's 360 all the way around divided by there's five congruent pieces or congruent angles, so we get 72. All right, so then when we draw this um, altitude right here to give us this apothem right there, it cuts that 72 in half, so it's a 36 degree angle right there. So then the tangent of this 36 equals opposite over adjacent, so I did that right there. So we get the tangent of 36 is uh, 0.7265, and then we cross multiply right there, so we get this stage right here, then we divide, so the apothem is 4.818. Okay, so the area of that pentagon, which is our base, is uh, one half the perimeter uh, times the apothem right there. So we get um, uh, 84.308. Now the surface area of this pyramid is one half the area of the base plus, I'm sorry, the area of the base plus one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Okay, so here's the area of the base that we just got. And the perimeter is still 35, so 35, and then the slant height is, is this guy right here, this uh, 9 right here. So anyways, that's what I got. I hope I got it right, uh, otherwise I'll have to redo this uh, lesson. Okay, so I make mistakes all the time. So uh, the surface area of the sphere with radius r is 4 pi r squared. And area, whenever you see the word area, it's always in square units, okay? The volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and that's always in cubic units, okay? So let's find the surface area of each sphere, and then when the radius is doubled, what happens to the surface area? Okay, so we're going to surface area is 4 pi r squared, so 4 pi times 2 squared. Over here it's going to be 4 pi times 4 squared, okay? So when we do that, uh, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, so 16 pi inches squared. Okay, uh, 4 squared is 16, 16 times 4 is 64 pi inches squared. So the surface area ends up being 4 times uh, greater than um, uh, when the radius is doubled, okay? So it's just uh, 4 times as great. And let's do the same for the volumes, okay? So the volume is 4 pi, oh, I'm sorry, 4 thirds pi r cubed, okay? So uh, the radius is 2, 2 cubed, so 2 cubed is 8. You've got to do that first. 8 times 4 is 32, 32 pi thirds over here. Uh, 4 cubed is 64, 64 times 4 is 256 pi uh, thirds, okay? And remember, these are in inches cubed, okay? And so what happens to the volumes when the radius is doubled? is um, uh, it becomes uh, 8 times greater, which is 2 to the third. Think volume as cubic units, 2 to the third. When it was the surface area, that was 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so it was 4 times greater, okay? Surface area is always squared, volume is always cubed, all right? So when a plane intersects a sphere, the intersection is either a point or another circle. Imagine a plane slicing this sphere. It's always going to give us this circle right here, and if it goes through the center of the circle, it's called the great circle, okay? And then so uh, every great circle of a sphere separates the two congruent halves into what's called hemispheres. They're just half of a half of a sphere. All right, so the circumference of a great circle of a sphere is 13.8 pi feet. What's the surface area of the sphere and what is the volume? Okay, remember circumference is 2 pi r, so that 13.8 pi is 2 pi r, so let's divide both sides by 2 pi and we get the radius, the pi's cancel, 6.9, okay? So what's the surface area? Remember, surface area is 4 pi r squared. So when we square that, we get 190.44 pi feet squared. And if you want to change that to just a decimal, that's okay. I did not do that here. Okay, and then volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And so when we cube that, we get and then multiply it by 4, divide it by 3, 
uh, we get 438.012 pi feet cubed. Okay, and I did not convert that uh, all to a decimal. All right, if you are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.